and welcome back to my YouTube channel and our playthrough of Life is Strange Before the Storm. I hope you're excited for this episode, I really am. Last episode was truly one of the best, most uplifting parts I've ever played in a Life is Strange game so far. Um, it was so nice to to see everything coming together, to, to be in the play as Chloe and Chloe and Rachel kind of talking to each other finally kissing yeah, i'm so excited for that part i was so excited um and then finally finally getting closer so i think the last episode was truly amazing and i have no idea what to expect with this one i think we left off when they were in um, rachel's house so i'm thinking this is going to be very interesting to see what's kind of going to be going on and how that's gonna be I don't know whether we're we gonna meet her parents or if we're just gonna sneak in. Like, I don't know really what's gonna happen, but I'm excited for it and I'm super pumped for this episode. So, I hope you're excited too. If you didn't know, I also stream on Twitch Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays at 6 pm CET. We play lots of Nintendo games over there as well as Elden Ring right now. So, please make sure to stop by. The link is in the description below. Uh, but without further ado, let's get into the game. Yeah, okay, here we go. We are in their house. That looks a lot fancier than Chloe's house. I'm guessing they have quite a lot more money. Her dad is like the district attorney or something, I think. So I guess that sort of makes sense. <gasps> what was that? So they are trying to sneak in. Okay. Oh, you're home. Uh oh. Uh oh. Rose, Rachel's home. This is gonna be interesting. That's and her dad, she, I think. Uh, her new uh -oh. friend. She's like, uh, I still have a turn. Yeah. <laughs> You're just in time. Dinner's almost ready. Chloe, was it? Nailed it. I must have been pretty memorable. You were. <laughs> I get the sense that you're used to making an impression. Rachel, yeah, I guess. <laughs> honey, you were resplendent tonight. Resplendent? Thanks. Who says that? Chloe, you must join us for dinner tonight. Uh, uh oh. She must. Uh oh. I must? Of course. I made chicken a la king. I'm sure you both acted up quite the yeah? appetite. Yeah? Okay, so we're. You, you, we're gonna, are we gonna are we gonna seriously have dinner with them? Because I feel like that'd be very awkward. Um, I feel like this whole situation is already quite awkward. Um, yeah, no thanks. I'm more of a burger a la king kind of gal. She's funny, this one. I'm aware. Chloe, I know we didn't exactly meet each other at our best this morning, but with you and Rachel becoming such fast friends, I insist you join us for dinner. Don't you agree, Rachel? He's yes, like, yeah, of course. of course. Chloe, would you join us for dinner? Please. Uh, like, please do <laughs> of it. Of course. Great. <laughs> oh, I, I can't believe it. I just need to wash off. Then I'll be right down. Don't be long. In the meantime, perhaps you can help me with the table, Chloe? Sure thing, uh, <laughs> Mrs. Amber. That's going to be really awkward. We're going to be alone with her parents. Okay, I'm going to go pack. After dinner, we can make our break. You cool down here? Yeah, we're cool. Totally. <laughs> your parents love me. They're good at coming off that way, but don't let your guard down. She's very suspicious and towards her parents. Chloe, I wonder what kind of relationship they have. Try not to say anything that, you know, that I would normally say. Exactly. I mean, Just if they don't want to blue the cover, that makes the sense. Embers. What could possibly uh, go wrong? Yeah, right. What could possibly go wrong? Here. I heard you were in the Tempest. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of a big deal. I believe it. Everyone says the show is awesome. You get medals for two good deeds today. Drew's okay. Mikey will text you an update in a bit. Oh, shit. Tell them both I'm pulling for them. Oh, I hope they're okay. I really hope they're okay. Do we want to read the journal? Oh, the journal, maybe? Because we haven't really read these letters to Max in a while. I just need to remember where we stood. I don't think we saw. 
but I don't think we read... No, I think we read this one too. I think this is the first one we did read. Max, ever been to therapy? It's actually kind of awesome. I don't mean the writing down your feelings and hugging and crying and shit. I'm talking about popping open the hood and getting your hands dirty. Rachel's awesome at it because of course she is. We talked about mum and David, the fire, my expulsion. Rachel didn't want to talk as much, but I got her to open up. I'm glad I did. By the end, everything, I don't know, it seemed a little less broken, I guess. Speaking of, I found this gnarly truck that I started fixing up. Who knows if I'll ever get it running, but for now, I'm just glad to have a problem I might actually be able to solve, and maybe an escape vehicle. Stay tuned. Fixing trucks and fixing brains. Who needs school anyway? Chloe, the less broken fixer. Max, how do you know when it's time to take a relationship to the next level? I'm talking about my drug dealer Frank, of course. He wants me to do a job for him, picking up my money from Drew North. You know Drew, Blackwell's premier jockstrap and now apparently oxy dealer? Dude's pretty deep it seems. But it should be an easy job and besides I could use the money for mine and Rachel's escape fund. Which speaking of Rachel, guess who's skis balls? Dad's side, dad's side piece I saw coming out of Frank's RV. I pressed Frank for info and learned that her name is Sarah, and uh, she's only been around for a couple of weeks. Oh, and she loves the do uh, the droogs. Weird. <laughs> All right, off to make my triumphant return to Blackwell. At least I'm getting paid to go there this time. <laughs> Chloe, the criminally awesome. Max, fuck! I remember that easy job for Frank I told you about. Yeah, not quite. First, I jacked Samuel's keys, and then I used my yellow powers to open the past, uh, to get past Skip into the dorms. By which I mean talking about my lady bits till he freaked out and let me in. Took a brief detour into Elliot's room and read his poetry. Poetry, dude, scar feeling, for me, I think. I'm flattered, I guess. Anyway, I found the cash, but then Drew and Mikey showed up, followed by Frank's psychopath boss, Damon. Oh, that's the picture of him, okay. Have you ever met someone that just never, that you knew never to fuck with? I hadn't until today. Damon started beating the shit out of Drew for money he owed. I stayed with Mikey like Drew wanted. It was horrifying. I think Damon actually broke Drew's knee. After I gave Drew the money instead of holding it for Frank or giving it to Damon. Felt like the right thing to do. It was also so, so, so fucked. Um, and the most fucked up part, that I had anything to do with it. Chloe, the re-gifter. Max, just when I thought that this day couldn't get any more dramatic. Wait, let's back up. Guess who tried to drug Rachel and Jack her role? Don't worry, Rachel and I turned the tables on Victoria and gave her the taste of her own medicine, literally. Sadly, the drama doesn't end there. Stupid Juliet got caught in the stupid fire and now I, now I, let's just say that there's exactly one person in the world that would make me dress up in a funny costume and act out Shakespeare in front of an audience of all of my least favorite people. And she happened to be right next to me at the exact moment at this exactly wrong moment. Chloe the FML. <laughs> Max, so I survived just in case you were worried about me. You totally weren't. But it wasn't easy. I had to remember that what to say and where to go and not to flip off everyone in the audience. Not gonna lie, I totally killed it. Once I got past the stupid makeup and blinding lights and just got myself lost in it all. I guess acting really is about forgetting the rest of the world exists and being completely in the moment. When I'm in Rachel, somehow that comes e becomes easy. We ended up creating a new story together on stage. A much better story, because this one ends with the two of us escaping to an island and sailing off into the sunset together. Take that, Shakespeare. <laughs> will life turn out uh, so awesome? Time will tell. Chloe, the bardest uh the bodice bitch in town <laughs> nice oh my god there's so many more than i thought oh this is the last one okay max time has told and no it turns out that 
real life is not like the stage. It is so much better. We're leaving tonight. Boom. Peace out, Arcadia Bay. We're headed to Los Angeles, home of favorite movie stocks, Dankweed, and who cares? All that matters it is not here. I didn't believe Rachel at first. It is not I, that I don't trust her, but she tends to get swept away in the moment. Let's just say she erased all doubt. What do you need me to draw a map? We made out. As awesome as you may imagine making out with Rachel Amber sounds, believe me, it was a bajillion times awesomer. After a quick stop at Rachel House, we're headed off. Next time you hear from me, I'll be an ex-Arcadian, just like you. Chloe does so much better. Aww. This is going pretty good. In the terms of the letters, at least. Okay. What do we have here? A ward shell? <laughs> Rachel really was an overachiever yeah. before she met me. Glad <laughs> I nipped that in the bud. I guess with parents like that, there's not really anything else you can do, right? We should probably go in. Should we talk to James first? It's like a thousand times more skeevy when the skeeviness is all polite to your face. Yeah, we know what he did, so... Hiya, Mr. Amber. Chloe. What can I do for you? The play, maybe? What do you think? I thought Rachel was perfectly cast. She certainly was. We're very proud of her. I had no idea they were going to do that. Do what? I don't know the name for it. Uh, reverse casting? Casting a, a woman as a man? Uh, oh. I just meant the wizard part. <laughs> uh... I suppose that's also true. Huh. Oh, we can do one of them, okay. you're a district attorney, huh? I'm your district attorney. So I can call you if I'm ever district arrested? What would you be arrested for? It was a joke. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not a good one, clearly. Yeah, this is a bit awkward. Yep, yeah, very awkward. Your pretty great. Mm -hmm. Thank you. We're fond of her as well. You ever feel like fond she's so her? awesome at everything that you just want to shake her? Yeah. Uh, uh, me neither. <laughs> Gotta go. Duty calls. <laughs> Good chat, Mr. Amber. Mm-hmm. Why are they so stiff? Can't believe it. They say all news is local. But fire damn. grows despite interages effort. Largest fire in Arcadia history. Frightens residents and baffles authorities. Interesting. Ooh, a computer. I bet there's like not even a single Cheeto stuck in this thing. I like that we can use it. Like, Doing wouldn't someone say something? Without no? having to read about right? it afterwards. Hope I feel like a, okay though. They they'd say something, no? Armin, congrats on a wonderful casting crew of The Tempest. So sorry I missed out, guys. The merch came up. Love you guys. I'm so sorry. Why sorry? You didn't control the fire, or do you? <laughs> Chloe held it down like a champ. Any update on how Drew is doing? Recovering? We're going to see him first thing tomorrow. Hmm. How to um, clear browser history, followed by a gap for all of yesterday. That's like cheating asshat 101. How to incognito. Poor time. Rachel. 40 plus healthy lifestyle. Okay, they have a goal for sale, the beacon. Oh my god, small shops, not face. Why didn't he just delete all of it in that case? That's not very smart, is it? That's really dodgy. Holy shit. Oh. That's the guy who attacked Drew. Oh. I know I did the right thing, giving Wait. Drew his money back. Look at this. Man. Sarah. I wouldn't want to be on this guy's bad side. Yeah, okay. So Damon is the top one. And then Rodney and Francis. So this is the guard in the beginning of the game. They are, I guess, at the same level. And why is Sarah here? This is so weird. Doesn't he have an affair with her? Or have they gotten it all, like, twisted? But he did propose to her, didn't he? No? I mean, they did make out. Even if he was, like, trying to be undercover, that wouldn't make any sense. Why would she be in this then, though? 
The mill, a converted lumber mill north of town, suspected of larceny, extortion, distribution, assault, robbery, murder. Oh, that's very interesting. I really want to know more about the woman. I'm very curious. Because some families actually go to Paris Aww. instead of just talk about it their whole lives. I guess that's kind of cute. Easy to see who wears the Legal literary digest. pants around here. Oh, Bleak Cow's Divine Comedy. That does not look like interesting books. Do we sit? We were gonna help with like setting the table, but I guess it makes sense to sit down anyway, right? Very ugly chair, but they do kind of look comfortable, so I guess. So this is what normal looks like. It's somehow way more boring and way weirder than I imagined. It's crazy I can to picture that. Rachel growing up here. That it's and a bit being different. happy here. At least before she met me. But she didn't grow up in this house, and now right? I'm taking her away. Because she's not from Arcadia. <laughs> or is she taking me away? This doesn't really seem like the kind of place people run away from. Yeah. <laughs> what am I saying? Fuck this place. I mean, it doesn't seem like it on the surface, but I'm sure that there's like a lot of things that sometimes isn't visible underneath. So it's like, you know, people kind of taking cover. Crosswood puzzle. What the Amber family considers entertainment looks a lot like what I consider homework. I get what she means. We're definitely gonna improve this. Come on, it's Chloe. She is smart. Literal, I guess? I don't know. I don't know, I didn't- should I have checked if that was correct? Which I didn't. Solved it. Did I just ruin it? What's the word that we were gonna write down? Hey, no one saw me do anything! I did not do anything! I don't know what you mean, I did not do anything so at all. Clean. Uh, mm, I bet yeah, Rose no. Would kill it with my mom at the mm -mm, diner. Mm -mm. If I open I this, really will though. skeletons come spilling out? Wouldn't surprise me. No skeletons. Lots of shiny dishes, though. <gasps> Mikey! Hey, Chloe. Drew's out of surgery, in pain, but okay. Holy shit, Mikey, I'm so sorry. It's okay, you stuck with me. Plus, you saved our money. We owe you. I wish I would. I could have helped more. Hey, Steph says that you were in the play. What? <laughs> I've had a busy day. Most heroes do. Oh, I want them to be friends. I feel like they'd be such good friends. I wonder if this will be the most expensive thing I've ever eaten off of. <laughs> Besides my computer, of course. Something about this photo doesn't seem right. I should fix it. I mean, we gotta have to, right? D.A. James Amber cracks down on drugs. Now I gotta, I gotta get all the graffiti. mom is right there. Yeah. She totally bust me. She would. Okay. Fine, we'll... Hi, Rose. Your husband's talk cheating Talk to her and see. Pass the ketchup. Literally, hey this there, is how I imagine Mrs. a situation Amber. like this feel like. Chloe, you're talking I'm about like so glad normal things, but actually in your mind you're like, oh, by the way. You borrowed that shirt from Rachel. We call it the Rorschach shirt. What do you see? I see a bird, so. Uh, I guess I see a bird. But now I can see the skull too. Interesting. Well, wash it before you bring it back. Yeah, okay. Chill out. So, uh, Rachel was pretty awesome tonight. Yes, she was. Though, to be fair, she's pretty awesome every night. I wish I were half as driven when I was her age. Me too. I get the sense that you're a force of nature yourself. I can see why the two of you get along so well. It's so stiff. I would I would I run away from it yet. still seems crazy to me. It's so uncomfortable. The whole yeah. thing. What did you think of the play? I did not expect this to happen, that they were going to have dinner there. Rachel was typically amazing, but I never liked The Tempest. 
What did you think of it? To be honest, I only really read a couple pages. Theater's not really my thing. I guess I'm not so into saying words someone else came up with. Fair point. Then again, I'm not sure you can judge the entire art form based on the dead white men your True. curriculum focuses on. Damn. She's got a point there, though. Fired, she's got a go she's got a good point. Integrity, honesty, loyalty. What? It's on your lawn. Oh, right. Sorry. I guess I'm still getting used to being an elected official's wife. Yeah, I guess strong words. Those are some strong words. <laughs> You think he lives up to them? He's fantastic at what he does. Of course, he's only human. Or subhuman. What? What? I, I thought you said something. Uh, nope. Yeah. So, you putting me to work, or what? Yes. If you could please take four plates from the cupboard and set them on the table. I'm uh, guessing what that that's I what I need. Excuse me? You said if I could... Never mind. She's trying to make a joke. It's not working, Chloe. You're just... a riot, Chloe. You're a riot for right, saying Chloe, that. That was a good you've joke. You set the table without ruining someone's marriage before. Okay. Piece of cake. I guess that's all we can do. Maybe we'll be able to to get the graffiti done it's after off that. To the table with you. Yep. Yep. I just wanna. I just wanna run. This is not stiff at all. Oh, there was some more stuff here I missed. Hang on. Rachel and I both had great childhoods. Aww. Mine just ended a little before hers, I guess. That's true, though. That's true. I mean, for Chloe, at least. She did have a good childhood, I think. Oh, I think that's an original who gives a shit. Wow. Grandfather clock? Damn. Wonder if this is a family heirloom. That would not surprise me. How many cabinets do you need? A lot. <laughs> it's a quite big house, Glasses. to be fair. Damn. The ambers are fancy as shit. I would not have chosen green glasses, though. Oh, we can never realize that getting drunk oh. could be so complicated. Oh, because they're different glasses? Yeah, I guess. Everything about this house is nicer, cleaner, better, and more expensive than mine. I don't like the, the sign, but I do like much, that they have like a dining still. area like this. It's quite cozy. I, I feel like I'd like that if I had a big house. If I could ever afford one, that is. Oh, mom. That's interesting. Chloe, Justin Williams' mom just called me. Were you in the play tonight? I would have liked to see that. Kind of just happened. And now it was last minute. I'm glad you're doing well. It would be nice to see you tonight. Are you coming home? Please, Chloe, I miss you. Oh, I feel so bad for Joyce. I feel so bad. She's really trying. I really like Joyce. I, I understand why Chloe's frustrated with her. And I do agree with... How did she set this to... Chloe, why did you set the table like this? When you set the four in the... This makes no sense to me. Wait, this plate. Chloe, this plate. That should have gone here, no? Wouldn't that make a lot more sense? Otherwise, like, this this, this fourth person will be like... Oh, the... Do people... Okay, I need to know. Do people really set their tables like this? Wouldn't... If you were four people, wouldn't you set the plates in the middle? So they were, like, sitting across from each other? Is that just me? I feel like that's really weird. Let's see what Rose has next for me. This is strange. Yes, Chloe? What's next? Plates? Check. Anything else? Actually, could you be a dear and ask Mr. Amber what he'd like to drink with dinner? I will be a dear. Talking to James. As yep. long as I can avoid using the words cheating and scumbag, I should be fine. Yeah, I, I hate that we're going like, what would you like for something for else? Dinner. Drink. What's your vice, Mr. Amber? 
I wonder I'm what sorry? day is this. You're is, right. it, is it a Friday Let's or something? Know what kind of drink you're having. Ah, let's say sherry. Okay. One, two, three, sherry. Comical. Oh, Chloe, stop Chloe, making jokes. It's not helping. Help me understand something. Oh? I'll give it a shot. Rose okay. and I, we're worried about Rachel. Yesterday was so unlike her. What do you suppose is going on? I guess we'll do this. We besides can't all say my besides. bad behavior rubbing off on her, you mean? Hmm. Another joke. You tell me. It seemed like you and Wells were happy to believe that this morning. And you were all too eager to play into our expectations. In my experience, that's a tactic people use to cover for someone else. Rachel is her own person. She's responsible for her actions. That is true, though. That is true. I'd be lying if I said I didn't have concerns about your friendship. But perhaps you're exactly who Rachel needs right now as she navigates the choppy waters of adolescence. That's quite... That's the nice thing uh. to say, isn't it? I guess. Thanks. I feel like that's a nice thing to say. That's kind of, um, kind of surprising, but uh, yeah, okay. Yes, Chloe? The boss man would like a sherry. Thank you. The glasses are in the china cabinet. You can place one at his setting. How am I supposed to get to China? Chloe, <laughs> stone, stone. It's the fancy looking cabinet, right? You got it. That she already opened? I like her jokes. I just feel like they cannot take them. At all. Uh, oh, wait. Which is the triangle shape one? Basic shapes. <laughs> now you're speaking my language. Oh, is that triangle shape? Oh, I guess maybe it's a kind of more triangle than the other one. I'm assuming that he's the one sitting at the end, right? That's a weird placement as well. Wouldn't the glass be like on top of like, not on top of the plate, but like above the plate? I don't understand Chloe's setting tactics of setting tables. Yes, Chloe. Yes, Chloe? More? What else? <laughs> Feel like I'm getting good at this. Only one last step. As our guest, you may do the honor of lighting the candles. The lighter is in it's the- It's cool. I've got my own. Oh, Chloe. Oh. You never know when you'll need to light a candle. Right? You are a paragon of preparedness. Thanks. I think- I feel so uncomfortable Tender. right now. Light some candles and- Bust this joint up a bit. <laughs> the Amber family Here we go. fire. What could, what possibly, could possibly go, go wrong? wrong? <laughs> oh, here we go. It's time for dinner. Yep. I knew he was going to sit there. It's such a weird setting. On the clock in the background it's so quiet my family that has never been this quiet so chloe are you i guess and i'm Rachel lucky in then. any of the same classes i wish i guess i wish rachel's all honors i'm still trying to get into remedial what's it called vocabulary what about that fire <laughs> <clears throat> Dinner's really good, Mom. Thank you, yep. Rachel. The way the fire spreads so fast, I've never She's heard like, of anything it, like help. it. help. <laughs> I guess it's scary? Yeah. It's scary. After those floods upstate, I was overjoyed we had less rain this year. 
Who knew a spring drought could be even more dangerous? You never know where a deadly spark will come from. It's certainly I think troubling. She feels bad. The latest report from the commissioner's office suggests arson. Arson. Why would anyone do that? Any they're like, they're dead? With everything going on in the I world guess? today, even a town like Arcadia Bay isn't immune to the ills of society. The ills of society. I cannot imagine how difficult talks. these last few years have been for you, Chloe. Where now did that, that come from? Have become friends. I want you to know that our home is always open to you. Cool. That, that's quite nice Thanks. to say, though. I don't know if she actually means well it, said, but... Dear. It's imperative in such troubled times as these that we remember what is most important to us. Family. Family's not merely a gift. He's like, it oh. is a responsibility. As such, those we love must be cared for and never, ever taken for granted. Yeah, that... Let's calm Rachel. I feel like if they're gonna run away, I don't think we should attack. Uh, yeah, that's super true. And also remember, Rachel, that even when shit's like the lamest ever, you can always run away from whatever's bothering you. Yeah. As long as you just keep calm. Yeah. An yeah. That's interesting the plan, right? philosophy, Chloe. Yes, indeed. Not one that I would endorse, however. I favor confronting my problems head on. But to each their own, I suppose. I guess feel like Chloe oh, would too. Fucking blow me. Rachel? Should we have said something? Do we distract her or do we explain? Like, I feel like I wanna bring it up. But it's not our thing. It's not Chloe's thing. Rachel's gonna do that, right? Do we distract her? Oh my god, do we explain it? This is a hard decision. What the heck? This is a hard decision because I feel like I I would I get that Rachel wants to talk to her dad about this and that she wants this out in the air before she disappears and such but I also feel like that might like mess it up for them to like run away you know and I feel I don't know if we I feel like ask Chloe you should you like, shouldn't be the person saying it I feel like it should be Rachel saying it so maybe maybe we'll try to distract for for Rachel's sake you know uh, crap I'm so clumsy. Uh, Rachel, can you come help me find another Stop fork? Stop it, Chloe. I can't sit here and listen to this bullshit anymore. Rachel! Stop it, Dad. You're a hypocrite, okay? I know. You lying, cheating piece of shit, motherfucker. Excuse me? My gosh. We saw you yesterday at the Overlook. James? Kissing that woman. Jeez. Yeah, Rachel. You, yeah, honey, whatever you saw or think you saw, I know it's hard, but I need you to trust me. Trust you? Yeah. No offense, Mr. Amber, but I think we trust our eyes more than you. Yeah. That's enough. You are not welcome here or around my daughter any longer. Oh no. Oh no. Exactly what kind of Did we choose the wrong thing? The moment I saw you. And I let my wife's compassion get the better of me. Oh? What kind of person is a that? A delinquent. A broken girl from a broken home. That's enough, James. I will not have you... Yeah, that's really rude. Oh? Oh? What's going on? What's going on? Is something gonna happen with the candles? Does she have like magic abilities? What the heck? No. Why can't you just tell me the fucking Trick. truth? Stop lying! Stop being a politician for one fucking minute! Yeah. Can't you just be my dad? Oh my lord, she Rachel, broke the table. That woman you saw. That wasn't my mistress. That was your mother. What? What? You've got to be joking. You've got to be joking. Did 
not see that coming. I did not. Oh, I did not see that coming. The fudge. I am so surprised. His, her mum? Well, it would be explain why she is blonde. How did they have Rachel though then? They did kiss though, didn't they? Wait, I'm so confused. What the heck was going on? They did kiss. Didn't he like propose to her or something? Cause most of us are heaving through corrupted nuts. Oh, what does that mean? Setting what does the blood mean? To raw insides for fun. Collecting names. Oh, there's so much. The there's so much to unpack here. The lovers that went wrong. Oh, Joyce, look at Chloe. I've lost it all. Is he gonna be nice to her or rude? She's the only one cheering him on. Bitter, oh, Please don't be rude. Summer, fire to That's the woman. That's Sarah. To distract our hearts from ever missing That's why she was at the theater. That's why she was there, because she wanted to watch Rachel. Why have they lied her entire life, though? Oh my goodness, this is not what I expected out of this episode. Oh, are we gonna get a sneak peek for the next one? Oh, we didn't get to go Freedy done. Dang it. God dang it, this was a, this was a turn of events. I did, I did not see that coming. I definitely thought that he was... But still, why would they not tell Rachel she's adopted if that's the case? Like if... Or is it because he got pregnant with her? With another woman? And then they took Rachel in? So like it's her dad but not her mum? Or like what is... What is the situation here? I really wanna know. I really wanna know. <laughs> Okay, you take the blame for Rachel. 23% didn't? I wonder what would have happened. You emptied your pockets. Oh, most people did. You stayed with Mikey. Most people did that. You asked Rachel for a kiss. Yes, 70. 70. What, what, what's up with these people? 13 and 70%. Excuse? Excuse you? Mm, you intended to go to the play with Elliot? You didn't talk to Elliot about the play? You just, oh, okay. You agreed to start over with David. Most people actually did. That's interesting. I feel like we've been we've been choosing the majority stuff in this in this episode. You put the singing man on the dashboard of the truck. You didn't pay off your debt to pra uh, to Frank. You didn't tell Steph that Rachel was single. You returned Drew's money to him. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. Most people did not return Drew's money. That's very interesting. And most people did not give her any advice. And most people said to help Nathan. Interesting as well, okay. <laughs> the 3%. These, these must have definitely been stuck in the Life is Strange playthrough. Nathan. <laughs> Uh, you confronted Victoria, you tricked Victoria. Oh, more people actually tricked her. I feel like confronting was more fair, kind of. You told Rachel you would like to go to Los Angeles? Oh, even a mountain New York in Los Angeles. Uh, no, the most people actually said on the road trip. Oh, quite even though. 
Rachel attack James? Most people, okay, most people let Rachel do it. That's interesting. Now let's see the preview for the next Shit. one. Shit. Uh oh. That's not a good start of the game. <laughs> okay, okay. You know what? Let's just start it. I I can't wait. Let's just let's just start the episode. See what it's got going on. It's just just a little Previously, preview kind of the storm. right. I felt like my dad's been lying about. See, they were kissing. They were just, kissing. Confirm. Was. There is plenty of blame to go around. What does that mean? You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. Hey! Yeah. Blackhaw's Black done with us. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Whatever you do, don't open the door. Oh, I want my fucking money! <laughs> Juliet is wailing. That infernal inferno is the culprit, closing down the roads and robbing us of our aerial. No fucking chance. I swear to thee, we shall fly beyond this island. Oh, I so caught with that costume. Are mere prologue. What sayest thou to my most hopeful wish? Yes. Let's leave. For real. If you don't mean this, it's. It's so nice to watch back like on shit, like what happened as well. I quite like the recaps in this case. What would it take to convince you? Why can't you just tell me the fucking truth? Rachel, that woman you saw. But why did they kiss though? That wasn't my mistress. That was your mother. I'm so so confused. I need to know. <gasps> Are we gonna find out now? Are they gonna I want to tell you all of it. But are you sure that Chloe should be here for? Chloe stays. Of course. Okay, In I'm happy they understand that, matters, that. Rose is my wife and your mother. But the woman you saw at the Overlook, her name is Sarah. Your birth mother. This is so interesting. I'm going to tell you everything, Rachel. Everything I've shielded you from for so long. But the truth can be hard to look at. Is this really something you're ready for? Why have they never told her? I don't understand. I feel like I'd be so confused if my parents one day just like, Oh, by the way, this ain't your mother. Like, what? Chloe. I'm right here. Good. I need you. This is an interesting way to do it. <gasps> okay. So they're gonna like find out the truth together like this? This is a cool way to do it. I like that. Wait, do they always have like matching bracelets? was in high school there was one person everyone adored her teachers her friends <laughs> oh my gosh sarah was everyone i quite favorite. like that they've done it like this so we get to see it every boy wanted to date her i could barely believe it when she picked me sometimes i think that's what kept me blind for so long She was so alive, oh. 
so passionate about everything. You can see Early that that's on, her though, mother. I, I understand I that. They're quite like. I wasn't enough for her. While the rest of us were pursuing college, careers, families, Sarah wasn't looking for any of that. She was oh. looking for escape. Sarah became pregnant. I thought it would solve everything. And it did. For a little while. That's the bracelet. That's her bracelet. Coming your father. It's the greatest thing. Okay, of my so life. they were together. There was so much love, but I was still blind. This is a juicy story. However much she loved you then, it wasn't enough. For Sarah, the need to escape was always there. For over a year, I tried to help her. I made myself believe that she was still a good person. No matter what happened, she would never do anything to hurt you. My God, what's gonna happen? I was wrong. Did she actually hurt Rachel? Eventually, I saw her for who she oh, really no. was. Someone who could never be satisfied with anyone or anything, even the love of her own daughter. I was this is so horrible. I didn't know what to do. So I made a choice. Did she I actually was never hurt her? Let her harm you again. Or just like neglect her. You saw at the Overlook, Rachel. It was true, we kissed. It was the saddest kiss of my life. It was a kiss goodbye. I told her that I was happy for her. That she felt like she'd gotten her life together. Finally. But she didn't get to just decide one day to be a mother. That's a fair point, though, I think. I understand that she wants to see her, but... All the people it can be kind of traumatizing, I think. All the lives she destroyed. I told her she'd been given the greatest gift in the world. The chance to be your mother. And she squandered it. That must be really hard for her too though, like it realizing her mistakes and wanting to, to hurt her like that. You know, wanting to connect and with again, her daughter again. Uh it was a tricky again, situation. To keep you safe. Oh, this kind of story gives me a stomach ache. So this that was the first time you've seen her or spoken with her in 15 years? No. I send her money. Every single month. It's our arrangement. But now she wants to see me? Yes. But Rachel, it cannot be. 
Yeah, I feel like we shouldn't say anything, but I don't think Why we have not? a choice. If that's what Rachel wants. Drug addiction is a disease. It afflicts everyone, not just the addict. I will not allow you to be victimized by her disease again. I guess it's her dad is scared. That's though. true. Rachel could still meet her. And maybe the the fact that she wants to see me means she's gotten better. Maybe so. But consider that for 15 years, she's preferred that money to you. <sighs> Rachel. I think I need to lie down. That must be so traumatizing. Is she gonna faint? That must be so hard for her mom to watch as well. She raised her like she's been her mom her entire life, so I can only imagine how hard that must be. I I can't leave Rachel to deal with this alone. Yeah. Oh, this is a group chat. Rachel and Chloe. Um where are you guys? We're at the cast party. Tempest cast party. Why is it? How many text messages is this gonna be? I want to read. Rachel. Okay, wait. Where the cast? Tempest cast party. I already test texted Rachel like eight times. Hey, I don't think we're making it. Chloe, you should come. Yeah, Chloe, you did awesome, babe. Babe. Oh. Hey, Chloe. Great job tonight. Thanks. I can't. But you were ama You were amazing. I'll admit that Mr. Kevin seemed a little disappointed when I arrived. <laughs> Seriously, just come. Bring Rachel. Sorry, guys. I don't think that that's going to be happening either. And I do think that I'm going to leave it off here, however juicy this is. <laughs> well, they're finding out this, but we're going to have to leave it off here or else it will be too long. Well, this episode had some interesting turn of events let's just say it was the stiffest start to an episode i didn't even know what to say i was even uncomfortable i had like secondhand embarrassment from the awkwardness of this family gathering but the fact that it was her mother i did not i did not think that i was very surprised very surprised but oh my god that was cool okay that was a cool one i have to say I'm really excited to see what comes next. I'm re really wondering how Rachel is going to be able to handle this and how that's going to affect her family relations and everything. And I'm I'm still kind of surprised that they've just kept that hidden from her. I don't I don't know like I feel like if it was me, I would have wanted to know rather than my parents keeping it a secret. It doesn't make her mother less of a mother like the one she's grown up with, but I think that it's fair that she should have just known, you know? They could have been honest about the reason, like, later in life as well. Like, it's it's not like I don't understand that he wanted to keep Rachel safe, but not telling her seems a bit interesting. I don't know. This is a very interesting one. I really want to know what all of you think about this. I don't know if you would have made a choice different and how you would have, like, handled the situation in general. I really hope you enjoyed this one. Now I seriously can't wait for the next one. This was so good. I'm really excited and I hope you're excited too. But thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate that. If you didn't know, I also stream on Twitch Tuesdays, Thursdays and Sundays at 6pm CET. So it'd be super cool to have you there as well. Feel free to come by, hang out with whilst we play some games such as Breath of the Wild, Elden Ring, Pokemon, you name it. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you in the next episode. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day, night, evening morning whenever you're watching this and i'll see you very soon bye <laughs>